Okay, Programming 12, we're going to do this heads-up display thing. I am going to... Uh, I, I demonstrated how we can just draw on top, because now this is a technically a 2D sketch with a three-dimensionally generated um, canvas that's being drawn on, on one end, and then we're drawing on top of it. Uh, but I would like to make this also a canvas so that I can play with this too and move it around, make, maybe make several of them. So I'm going to do the HUD one I think I've already created. So it's just going to be uh, begin draw. And then I'm just going to use HUD um, to put these lines out. And then I'll say end draw. And I'll draw the HUD, the heads up display. I can't say that too seriously. <laughs> it's just such a video gamey thing to say. Uh, which is fine. It's good. It's uh, it's very uh, very typical in this genre, right? Um, so that's great. But I want to add other stuff to it as well, right? So this is crosshair uh, and so on. And I think I might make a separate. It could be a tab. It could go in the character tab. It could go in like a heads up display tab. I think I'll make a heads up display tab. HUD. So oh, it's capitalized. I guess that means it's going to go in the object area. I, I hate the tab organization, to be honest. Uh, so let's we'll make a crosshair function. Maybe draw crosshair, and we'll make a draw minimap function. And um, I don't know. We'll, we'll start with that. We'll see what that looks like. So this is my crosshair function. So I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to put it into my heads up display void draw crosshair. And it's basically just that code, nothing fancy. And then I'll do the void draw minimap. So the minimap is not too big a deal. The minimap is really just the map that um, that I'm drawing the world from. I'm just using map.png. I'm literally drawing that map, uh, and I'm drawing it in a particular place on the screen. And then I'm converting my coordinates to an x and y coordinate. So um, uh, in the map, which I guess I'm already doing in, for collision detection. So it's, it's going to be very similar to the collision detection code. So the first thing I'll do is I will draw my mini map on the screen. So that's just in the image function to draw a map. And maybe I'll draw it. I'll draw it in the top left corner this time. So I'll maybe make uh, it at uh, 50, 50. So let's see what that looks like. I uh, probably should plug in my computer because the batteries are working a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> it's just making it work very hard for this level of effort. Unfortunately, it looks like my mini maps have been on the small side. Hey, it's just it's too mini. That's like the actual size of it, but that's so tiny. So I'm gonna just double its size. So norm, or maybe I'll quadruple its size. Actually, that's that's really small. So I'll make it four times bigger. So normally I think it's forty by forty. So I'll make it uh, one hundred and sixty by one hundred and sixty. I have to remember that I, I times it by four. I'll put a little x4 comment. Uh, let's see what that looks like. I think that should look good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can see that looks like a pretty good mini map. You're welcome to change that and make it look different though. Uh, bigger or smaller, or you can even redraw it with a loop reading from the map uh, in, a, in a more uh, suitable way. If you resize it too big, it will start to get fuzzy. Uh, and it won't look that great, uh, but that's fine. So I guess actually I should be doing um, hood dot image. So now I would like to draw the red dot of where I am on that image. So I'll need to figure out where I am, and I'll just use the same math that I was using for collision detection. I'll just take my current coordinate, uh, that's i x, and I will shift it over by two thousand because I am playing around with that in my map. I'll turn that into an integer, and I'll divide that by grid size. So that gives me a coordinate on that minimap. Uh, and I'll call this um, int mini x. And I'll make a mini y as well. The mini y is actually based on the z axis. I don't know if you remember, but from earlier, um, we discovered the floor is in the x uh, z plane. So we're going to use Z, and that corresponds in our floor plan to X and Y. 
So I think that works out nicely. And I'm just going to print this on the screen. I'll do um, heads up display dot text. I'll say um, maybe, you know, X um, mini X. And I'll put that at, I guess it's uh, 50 plus 160 would be 210. So maybe I'll put it at 220. Oh, no, that's X. Uh, that'll be my Y coordinate. Maybe I'll put it at 50 comma 220. And I'll do the Y just below that. Uh, maybe at 240. And I'll say Y and mini Y. So then I'll actually draw uh, the coordinates onto the screen. So let's see what that looks like. They might be a little bit on the small side, so we'll see if it's too small. I can see them. They're pretty tiny, but I can see them. I don't know. Can you see them in the video? I don't know. Maybe not. I'll just boost them up. So I would say HUD dot text size. Um, they're out of 20. I'm not too sure what would be a good number. Probably have to space these out a bit more. So let's do um, 60. So I just, just want to see the numbers before I use them to make sure things are going correctly. They looked good. Uh, 29 is kind of overlapping there, but yeah, it looks okay. So I can see that my X is 29, my Y is 26. It seems reasonable if I move around. Oh yeah, I forgot. So actually as we move around, you'll see that the numbers are overlapping. It's because we're not actually clearing the screen. Normally we would do that with background, but uh, background won't work very well. Um, so let's just quickly solve that problem. If I go back to my my um, lovely draw function. So this is in the main tab. This is a draw function. Then normally I would say like background, right? <laughs> background zero. But if I do that, watch what happens. My 3D world goes away because I'm drawing black on top of it. Because my computer's running so slow, it kind of spoiled that. But yeah, see, I just see black. That's my whole heads up display has been covered. So I want to clear it without drawing any pixels. I just want to delete all the pixels. So you do clear, hud dot clear. And then it will update it by erasing all the pixels instead of drawing black pixels on it. So let's see what that looks like. There we go, so I see it. And as I move, you can see that the coordinates are changing. It looks, it looks normal. So that's good. Um, you know, if I go to the corner, I should get to like 40. I guess I'm going in the X direction. Ooh. So, oh, I don't quite get to 40. Oh, I guess I have to go this way. I guess that makes sense. I can't get there because my collision detection is preventing me from getting all the way to 40. Okay, great. So I'm going to go back to the heads up display. Uh, and we're working on making the mini map. So now I would like to draw these coordinates onto the mini map. So I'm going to just put a rectangle there, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna set the stroke to, well, I guess I'll set the stroke weight to like zero. And, and I have to say, sorry, HUD. Um, let's set the stroke to two, red and the fill to red. That's stroke again. Okay, and we will then draw a rectangle. And the rectangle will be drawn at, it's actually not gonna be mini X and mini Y, but I'm just gonna show you what that looks like first. Um, and it will be four by four because this is four times bigger. So single pixels four. I think that'll work, but let's watch. We'll, you'll see it doesn't actually work. Uh, it's close and you'll see the similarity, but it won't be quite correct. So do you see the red dot up there? I guess I'm changing my text color. As I move, it will also move, but it's not moving very much. We're moving so small amount and it's not lined up with the map. And the reason is because there's just two reasons. Um, one reason is because our map is drawn at 50, 50, not zero, zero. If I was to change that to zero, zero, then it would line up better. However, it is being drawn at 50-50. So I need to add 50 to my coordinates of this point. This is, this is the indicator, by the way. This is 
the indicator of where you are in the map. So I got to shift that over by 50. So plus 50, plus 50. Also, as I move, each one of these corresponds to four by four pixel area. So I also have to times it by four. And this number can change depending on, you know, what is the scale of your minimap. So my minimap is four times bigger. So I got to multiply the coordinate by four and I have to make the box four by four and I made the minimap four times bigger and so on. So that's, that's the story there. So now I've shifted it over to match with my minimap and I've made it so that its coordinates are quadrupled. I think we're seeing it's working. Do you see it moving around in there? So look, I'm going towards this little like little corner stone thing and we can see that I get nestled in there nicely. It's still pretty small, uh, the red dot. I don't even know if you can see it on YouTube. Um, but uh, it's pretty good. I think I might say stroke weight one. Maybe it has to be more than four. I'm not sure, but we can just play with the numbers. We just make the numbers bigger to make the, the thing more noticeable. I think that might look pretty good. Mm, still a little bit. On, I guess I guess that does make sense because like one of these towers is four by uh, two by two, so it makes it does match up nicely with uh, the grid size. Uh, you'll notice the minimap is a little bit fuzzy, so I've, you might want to just draw, make a loop to draw it from the map, to just draw a little rects, make it look a lot sharper. I think that would be a cool thing to do. So it looks like the minimap's working, and my coordinates are out there, uh, showing me where I am. I could see myself improving those a little bit. Uh, there it's obviously needs to go down a bit, so it should probably be 30. Uh, I might do uh, hud.fill uh, white again to make it so the text was white. And there's all sorts of stuff we can put onto this. Um, you know, if you were you're playing a, a first person shooter, you know, you probably see your gun sticking out. Um, you know, Minecraft has the pickaxe that sticks out. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more information in Minecraft when you press, what is it, like F3 or whatever, you can see all sorts of information about the world. So you could be putting all other bits of information about uh, what's going on. Um, you could put your health your food bar, you know, um, your tool slots or your item slots or whatever. Uh, all sorts of things can be drawn onto this heads up display. And you can draw even more layers if you want to. I can imagine a layer that's being drawn that has to do with what your cursor is uh, on top of and so on. So lots of possibilities for what you want to do. So I'm going to stop the video there. I think that gives you a good introduction to the basics of drawing things on separate layers. It uh, seems like things are working quite nicely, uh, so this is probably going to be the sort of foundational parts of our, um, our 3D project. And then I will be releasing some criteria about what additional features you can add on to the project to make it awesome. Uh, so thank you so much for your hard work on this project. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Programming 12!